Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. We meet behind the trade fair and uh, behind Zenith College. You can always locate us there on Wednesdays and on Sundays uh, for various services. Now, th this morning, I, I like to call what I want to say, killing me softly. There's, there's a scripture in, in the Bible, very, very interesting. In 2 Samuel chapter 6 from verse 20, to 22. 2nd Samuel chapter 6 from verse 20 to 22. Now it's a story of David and the love bird, I mean the love of his life. These guys were just two love birds. Her name was Michal, the daughter of Saul. Now um, David really, really, really loved Michal. He loved Michal to the extent, you know, Michal was, was his blood wife. That means he, he had to sacrifice his life, put his life on the line in order to secure the love of Michal. David was the hero that all the girls in Israel were singing about and exaggerating his prowess. And Michal got there. She was the lucky girl. And David was also the lucky uh, guy who got the king's daughter. The king's daughter. So wedding, all you have to do is just appear. You get it and then they'll just do everything for you and do everything for you. That is, that, that is um, Michal. And these two people were really, really in love. And you can see the nature of their love where Michal, you get it, was ready to betray her father in order to protect David. And not only that, but many years after David was in exile, being chased by Saul, when he returned from exile, Michal had been given to somebody else to be a wife to that person. She had another husband. But David insisted, I still want Michal to be my wife. You know, the Ark had been in uh, a kind of... Um, exile for a while and he was very excited and he was dancing and the bible said david was dancing with qu quite some young ladies and uh, some ladies around him. you know david is a ladies man you know and so the hero he was dancing and everybody was dancing but michal the wife of david and the princess the daughter of saul and the queen the bible said she was standing at the other side of a window she was standing at the other side of a window and she looked down and saw David. And David too, if you want to dance, why wear a skirt? You know, uh, wear a skirt and then be raising your legs and jumping, oh, single, single, praise the Lord, and all those other things. You know, and so when, when, he, when he came back, the Bible said David has so much goodwill. He blessed the whole of Israel. He blessed the whole of Israel. And when he was coming into his house, he came to his house with goodwill. I want to bless my, my family. I want to bless my wife. I want to, you know, I'm so excited. I want to be a blessing to my family. I want to be a blessing to my wife. And this is where the killing me softly comes in. The Bible said when Michal saw him, you know, with David's excitement and exuberance and desire to bless, look at what he said. How glorious was the king today. I mean, look at you, you, you're a bushman. The way you were dancing and frolicking with those uh, cheap girls. And you were dancing and exposing my private property and all those things. I mean, she, was re she really went to town on David. And the words of her mouth were so stinging. And the words of her tongue, I mean, the, the, her tongue was so stinging. It was lashing out at David. It really did lash out at David. And then David also, you get it, I mean, trying to understand where the woman was coming from. He didn't understand. What, what, what have I done wrong? And so stung by, by, by the, by the, by the uh, uh, venom of the wife's utterances, stung by it, he also opened his mouth. And then he said, oh, yeah, okay, now, now you know what? Um, I will dance before the Lord because it was God who took me from the backside of the desert as a poor, lowly person, somebody uncouth, a bushman, and then he made me to replace your father. The words of their mouth were stinging. Their tongue were lacerating their emotions. I mean, um, uh, uh, Michal's words were piercing. Michal's words, the things they were saying with their mouth, was, was pungent and it was, it was stinging. It was acidic, acerbic, as somebody would say. 
And then David also replied in the same vein. And so both of them were stinging each other and both of them were pouring out bile and both of them were pouring out acid towards each other. Now look at what David said. I will dance today and I will dance tomorrow. I will be more vain in the eyes of this, this one. I will be naked before them. You get it? But they, they would honor me. You would honor me. And the Bible said from that time onwards, Michal never had a child. Their marriage, you get it, became unfruitful. Their marriage became unfruitful. Do you know why? Words. What they said to each other, the things they, that transpired, they never thought about it. Words. You know, we kill each other so softly, you don't know. There are things that you say that becomes part of a legacy in the heart of your spouse or your friend or or your parent, or your child. There are things that when you say, it leaves marks, it leaves scars on their emotions, it lacerates their heart, it's pungent in their spirit. It's, it becomes an ever-present pungent in their spirit, and they live with the pain of it. Killing people softly with your words, what you say. So sometimes in moments of anger, is it possible for us to pause a little bit, think through before we open our mouth? See, let, let, let your emotions run through the head and let it travel a distance before it comes spewing out from your mouth. Don't kill people softly with your words. Killing me softly with your words. No, 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 no. Please don't do it. Our hearts are fragile. Our emotions can sometimes be very fragile. And you don't know that words are seeds that you may plant in the seedbed of our emotions or the seedbed of our hearts. And with time, you won't like the fruits you see. So you know what? For your relationship to be successful and to be fruitful, don't kill each other softly. Your friend, your child, your, 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 your parents, your, your spouse, or any other people, be careful what you say, lest you bury them in the ashes of despair, despondency, depression, and bitterness. Watch your words. Don't kill people softly. See you next time.